Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maggie. Today we're going to be showing off a few of the 50th anniversary collection of Hello Kitty that they collabed with Wet n Wild Beauty. I had some cash burning in my pocket from dog sitting so I finally finished off using it and I bought a few of the little things that I was excited about. First thing that we're showing off here is the Wet n Wild makeup sponge. I always love their Wet n Wild makeup sponges but this one's obviously cutified and it looks like Hello Kitty which I thought was going to be a little gimmicky but honestly it worked really well to blend in my foundation. It's the same beautiful squishiness, not too hard, not too soft sponge. And something about the cat ears worked really well to, to go around your under eyes, around your eyebrows, and in the, the crevices of your nose really, really well. Do in the first clip, it dry and then wet. And this is just a, a little up close of it dry, just so you can see all the little details on it. I feel like you could make a foundation cat mark on your face. I didn't try that, but I feel like it could happen. <laughs> Decided to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I hadn't used this in a while, so I was like, let's let's do it with the Wet n Wild Foundation. And I forgot how well this foundation works. Not only was this color completely perfect for my Victorian ghost skin right now, the sponge didn't eat up too much of the foundation. And it, like I said, the little ears really went nicely around the under eyes without poking in there and it really got in the crevices of my nose really, really well. This is definitely a sponge I'm gonna keep using. It's not one of those ones that you're like, oh, actually this is garbage. This one's actually really good and the same quality of the typical Wet n Wild sponges, but in a Hello Kitty shape that is just everything and cute. I even put on my Hello Kitty turtleneck today for the video. As you can see, it stained the sponge. I'm sure I can get it out with Dawn soap or whatever, but it doesn't look like it ate up too much of the foundation, so that's a pretty good sign for me. I always appreciate that because then you don't have to use as much foundation. It's definitely Maggie approved. The next item is the with our new limited edition Hello Kitty Loose Setting Powder in light pink. It neutralizes and brightens our complexion while locking in makeup and controlling shine. Pink powders have been like all the rage lately. They're supposed to be really brightening for underneath the eye. I have a few that I got in my BoxyCharm that I do really quite like. So I thought this would be fun to compare it to. I'm always interested in finding a good setting powder. I do love the Wet n Wild ones already, like the loose powders. So I figured I was gonna like this and I wasn't disappointed at all. Super blurring. I think it does add a tinge of pink, but nothing too crazy where you look like you have like pink powder on your face, legit like pink eyeshadow. It's just enough pink to add a bit of brightness. And I do have more of a yellow base in my skin tint, so I was like a little worried it would look a little strange on me, but it didn't. It looked perfectly normal, just blurred me out and made my skin look nice and blurred and matted out. Pink powders are really good to buff out like your blush around the, um, your eyes to like buff it out without it looking a little too stark. It goes with that pink color really well. I think I saw that Sabrina Carpenter's makeup artist does that on her. There is the base done. I did go ahead and add a Rim Beauty Hypernova blush in the shade Strawberry Nebula, Burnt Pink. Look at the highlighter from the collection, the one that's like just a highlighter in the shade Cheerleader. And it says, shine bright like the star you are with this hyper reflective multi-dimensional highlighter. This silky smooth formula is but in available in two flexible shades that shift with every angle. This one's the one that's like pink and has like a silver reflect in it. At first I thought it was going to be kind of like an overspray and the first swatch I did I, it looked like it removed all the shimmer and I was like it's an overspray but you can see it has a bit of a pink base so it's more of like a blush lighter in my opinion. Um, but it does have the shimmer running through it. If you don't like glittery highlighters you're not gonna love this. If you are a glittery, kind of shimmery, pinky highlighter girly like Sabrina Carpenter, I feel like this is a nice dupe for her blush. You could have a matte pink and then just put this over top like a blush lighter and it adds that Sabrina Carpenter rosy cheeks, at least I think so. And it looks super cute and I really enjoy this. I will definitely be picking this up a lot. Definitely Maggie approved again. It wouldn't be a dud if you got it. I want to see how many things are in this collection. I think you can buy the whole thing in one go for like $85, but I would literally never. Um, but I feel like that's actually not 
a bad deal if you wanted everything because it comes with like a bunch of stuff. The next thing that we're going to be using is the three pack of the lip liners that they have. These things are huge. They're like bigger than my head, bigger than my hand. So definitely worth the price of a $8.99 when you get three of them. There's three different shades. Back in our pencil era, this adorably designed set resembles everyday nude essentials LV or new go-to lip liner. This incredibly pigmented formula defines shapes and fills the lips effortlessly with versatile shade assortment. It features a rosy brown nude, bright nude pink, and wine red shades. The first one I'm gonna go in with is the lightest, most like peachy one, and it's called Twinkie. I used to love Twinkies, but every time I have one now, it's just left with disappointment. It's never as good as you think it's gonna be. Um, anyways, <laughs> this is a peachy nude color. I would say it's a little light or a little lighter than I would typically go, but this is a good color to do a darker line with and then fill the center in to make it a little lighter. Eventually at the end I do put all three shades on together because they do really blend well together. But yeah, this is Twinkie. Very cute and I would say it's like a 60s peach. Like I feel like all the ladies in the 1960s, all those peachy nudes that they were wearing, they would have loved this color. It also doesn't make my teeth look yellow, which is nice. Makes them actually look a little bit more bright white. It is Cookie Charm, which I thought was gonna be pretty similar, but it's like a darker version of this. I would say I like this one better than Twinkie. But yeah, it's like a darker, more brown base to it, I would say. Again, these are such a good value. I feel like $8.99 for three giant lip pencils that I will probably never get through. Um, and they all work really well together. And you can use them with other things to lighten or darken or whatever you want. But this is a really beautiful color. And again, cookie charm which what a cute name very cute but yeah definitely has more of a brown base in it very pretty but my favorite one is the darkest one which will be the one that we do next and that color is called darling again another darling name um it's a very wine based pink i would say my favorite kind of color of a pink for a deeper tone it's like nice and cherry pink it's so cute perfect for the fall season i plan on doing a fall lip combo video with pink tones brown tones new tones dark tones you know that kind of vibe and i feel like i'm definitely going to be using this color in it it's the perfect like cherry reddish pink it's so pretty i kind of expected a red lip liner because of hello kitty but they have lip oils and stuff that you can pair with this. I just didn't pick that up because I'm not a typically a glossy type of girl. I like a matte color. Um, I did test these. These aren't like transfer proof. So there is that to note. Typically like a more waterproof formula, but they're all different tones. I would say everyone has a unique color. They're not similar at all. Maybe the first two are a little bit, but seeing them here on my hand swatch, they all look very different. But yeah, I took the two lightest shade and I just ran that in the middle of that darling shade and it made a nice little ombre lip. Made it a little bit more multi-dimensional and less flat, but there is the finished look. The highlighter, the setting powder, and the lip liner duo, um, and my cute LED Hello Kitty mirror, which I'll link below. You can get these at Marshalls. I actually saw a matte pink version of it, and they also have a holographic version now, which is really screaming my name, but I'm gonna resist because I have the original. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, especially if it was like a nice deciding factor if you wanted any of the collection. Before I get forget, I did create a Ko-Fi account, which 
creates like you can send me a tip or buy me a coffee you obviously do not have to do this I just saw a lot of creators that I enjoy do this as a way to give back to creators and just a small little bit of a donation feel free to just like my video comment share it thought it was a cute idea it's linked in my description below if you feel like doing it if not again don't forget to like subscribe and comment below bye